All right, so on all these problems, we have found the common denominator. So our next step is saying, okay, if I know what the common denominator is, how do I make sure that each fraction has it, all right? So if you look at number one on the examples we just did, hold on, is that? No lights, maybe. All right, if you look at number one, we see a three and a two, so I'm gonna cover up a three and a two over here. So see all my work shown, I'm gonna cover up a three and a two, and an X, and a Y and a Y. So I'm, cov I'm covering up what I have. So see, so for the first one, I had a three and a two, I cover that up. And then I see an X, a Y, and a Y, I cover that up. What do you guys see that's left over? Two X. So we multiply the top and the bottom by two X. Why? So I cover up what I know I already had in the denominator. I already had a factor of three and a factor of two. I already had a factor of x and a factor of y and another factor of y, so I cover up everything that I already had. That means that in the common denominator, I was missing a 2 and an x. So I need that. I need that on the bottom, and if I multiply it on the bottom, I have to multiply it on the top. So we are still finding a common denominator. Now we're just actually doing it. We're actually making it happen. We already know what the common denominator is. We're making it happen. So this fraction, what's 2x multiplied by 5x? 10x squared. And when you do the bottom, you have 2x multiplied by 6xy squared. So what does that give us? 2, two times 6. 12. X times x. Now, does that fit the common denominator we wanted to have? Yes. Yes, it does. All right. Now let's look at the next one. The next one had two twos, so I'm going to cover up two twos. Oh, that's what you oh. And it had two x's, I'm going to cover up the two x's. And it also had a y, so I'm going to make sure to cover that up as well. And so what is left over that we need? We need a three y, and we need it on the top and the bottom. So we have three y times three y on the top, what is that? 9y squared, and then what do we have on the bottom? We got 12x squared, y squared. <coughs> Multiply the 3 times what? We did multiply these. We said 3 times 4 is 12. And then this y right here and that y right there made the y squared. Yes, ma'am? How can we multiply the numerator? So right now, now that we are actually taking the problem, we are changing the denominator. We have to, we can't just multiply the denominator by something. We have to multiply by the same thing on the top and the bottom because that means we're taking the fraction and we're multiplying it by one, right? Because 3y over 3y is one. That means I'm changing what my fraction looks like, but I'm not changing what it equals. It still equals the same thing because I multiplied it by one, All right? So whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. All right.